So guys, I did a thing. Um, this big box here, it's my new toy. I bought myself a treadmill. <laughs> it was like slightly an impulse buy, but kind of not because I thought about it for a long time. And I just realized that I wanted to continue to get my steps in. Uh, despite like me continuing to train at the gym. I just feel like I wanted to get my steps in. Normally I would supplement my workouts with walks outside, but with this winter that we've been having in New York, it's just too brutal out there. I've been trying to like power through and just bundle up, but I just can't do it. And with all the snow lately, it's just not happening. So I'm not doing my outdoor walks anymore. And I still wanted to continue walking because that's like, it's something where it's like good for my mind, good for my mental health. I love like reading my Kindle while I'm walking on the treadmill, but I just couldn't pay for two gym memberships. You know, we got F45, then my building was charging for the amenities and I just like, I can't do both. So I figured if I invest in the treadmill, then I at least have it and it's a one-time investment and then I have it for as long as I want it or as long as it doesn't break, but that is my plan. I'm going to be utilizing... I just realized I still have this Christmas wreath up. I completely forgot to take that down with all of the rest of my decor, but she's there. She's happy. Anyway, um, I'm going to unbox this treadmill and try to figure out where in my apartment I'm going to keep this thing because I don't have space. I don't even have space for what I already have, so I don't know who I thought I was getting a treadmill for my small, like, one bedroom. But we have it, and we're going to figure it out. So let's do it. Here she is. I bet you guys are wondering how I even carried this upstairs. For the most part, I used a cart, but getting the box off the cart and into my apartment was pretty hilarious. All right, you guys, took me like 20-ish minutes, but the treadmill is now set up, so I'm gonna show you where I put her. I think I found the perfect spot for it, which is just kind of like in this hallway. It's not like protruding out too much where I can't walk around. There's plenty of room here, so I think I'm gonna leave it here. And luckily for me, I have an outlet behind this mirror, so the cord is just long enough where I can plug it in and it turns on perfectly. It is now on and I'm gonna do a little test walk. First walk on the treadmill. We're doing it guys. I'm already obsessed. So I walked for a little bit, tested her out, already loving it. And I don't know if I told you guys, but it came with this attachment, which is the reason I picked this one. I specifically wanted one with a handlebar and this attachment so I can put my Kindle on here and I can read while I walk. And I just think that's gonna be the perfect little thing to kind of distract me. That way it doesn't feel like so much of a chore, but something that I enjoy getting to do during the day. So I think I'm just gonna keep the treadmill out here during the winter months. And then once it gets warmer, I'm definitely gonna wanna go back to my outdoor walks and I'll probably fold it up and then see if I can roll it under my bed. And we'll see how that works for the year. It honestly wasn't that expensive. And the amenities in my building, like I said, are more expensive in the long run if I were to go on like a month by month basis rather than me just having this equipment at home and being able to use it whenever I want. So far so good, I will keep you updated, um, but I'm very excited. Okay, so I have a little dinner tonight. I'm celebrating my friend's birthday. It should be pretty fun. We are going to a little Thai restaurant on the Upper East Side. I think it's called Bua Thai. I've never heard of it until she invited us, but it looks really pretty in the pictures and I am craving some fried rice ever since she sent us the invite. So it's gonna be really good. Maybe I'll get some Thai tea. Love Thai tea. But anyway, I'm still getting ready. I have this like little satin crop top on. I'll show you my outfit in a second, but I just did my hair. I did some like little waves with my baby hair and just threw it up in a bun. This is like my classic go-to when I don't feel like wearing my hair out. So that's what we got going on. 
and now i'm just gonna throw on some makeup i think i might do like a blazer over top i'm still thinking about it but i have my base which is the black set on top and jeans so we'll see the makeup is now done i really like how it turned out it's very dainty and natural but very feminine with the pink blush and now for the outfit like i showed you i have this um satin crop top and then i'm wearing these zara jeans they're like the um mom jeans and i really love how they fit and then i threw on these white boots i know i'm breaking the rules of no white shoes in the winter but I love how a good white pair of booties looks with jeans. And I did decide to go the blazer route. So I'm going to use that Princess Polly blazer that I showed you guys in my last haul. It's going to be my first time wearing it, so I still have the tag on. going to take that off and I'll show you the completed look. Okay, I'm actually obsessed with this. It's just the perfect oversized fit, like a nice like boyfriend blazer. Love that so chic and now for bags i have two options that i can go with so let me show you that too here are the two options initially i was gonna go with this black bag which i think is just super timeless very chic goes with the vibe but now that i'm seeing myself with the white boots on and i know you can't see them at the moment but i'm feeling like the white bag is the way to go it just ties it all together so white bag it is Here's the full look with my coat. Love this thing, it's from Naked Wardrobe. And now I gotta go, I'm running late. Saturday. Yesterday was such a good time. I can't remember the last time I went out on a Friday night and I was definitely feeling it. I came back home and went right to sleep. But I also had my first drink since doing dry January and yeah, that was um that was rough. But we had a good time nonetheless and I've had a nice slow morning to just kind of ease into the day. I do have a few errands to run a little later, but first, I got some new bedding. I'm so excited. I got new bedding. I went onto to Brooklinen's website recently and they just came out with brand new colors. A few of them are even limited edition, so I knew they were gonna go super fast. And I fell in love with the blue mist color. So I knew I had to have it. I just, I can't help myself with Brooklinen. I was a bit nervous though with how it would go with the rest of the furniture in my bedroom. So I even went to the extent of creating a mood board you know me, I love my mood boards. I typically do them for every space when I'm moving into an apartment. But this time I figured why not do a mood board just to see how the bedding would work in my bedroom because I already have my pieces set. And of course it looked so beautiful. I've been waiting to put these sheets on for you guys. <laughs> if you don't already know, Brooklinen is a luxury home goods company. And I know firsthand from living in three apartments within the last few years that it is so important to invest in things that you use every day. I tend to have a neutral pattern when designing but I love that Brooklyn and makes it so easy to break up my white cream neutral colors by just adding that pop of color right on my bedding I find that it's the easiest way for me to integrate color into my home so I've officially swapped out the white bedding for colors you guys know I love this blue tone 
and I'm so excited for the next sheets that I'm gonna put on. I can't hammer it home enough. These sheets don't just look great, they feel great too. I got the Lux Hardcore Sheet Bundle. It comes with the duvet cover, with the sheets, with pillowcases. Their Lux Sateen sheets are the ultimate upgrade. There's a reason they're their best-selling sheets. They are more tightly woven and heavier in weight than some of their other sets. This makes it perfect for winter and ideal year-round, honestly. Also, I have a little hack for you guys. They are having their president's sale, which is set to go live on February 13th. If you purchase the Hardcore Bundle and use their discount for the sale, it'll bundle up those savings so you'll get up to 35% off, which is an unreal deal, so don't miss the sale. All right, you guys, let's get these sheets on the bed and I'll show you what it all looks like. All right, the bed is made. Let's do a reveal in three, two, one. I couldn't be more happy with the way it turned out. Literally, my mood board come to life. I'm actually digging the cool tones also. I wasn't sure because I tend to go for more warmer tones, but this just makes it feel so zen and relaxing in here. I'm so excited for my mornings in here and reading in bed. These sheets are just exactly what I needed. Now I gotta get myself together. I want to get some groceries today. I usually do my grocery shop on Sundays, but I've just run out of a few essentials that I like to keep in the apartment. My yogurt, cottage cheese, all that good stuff. So I wanna head to Target. And then I do have a few clothing returns. So I'm gonna be running around the city and taking you along with me. Quick little breakfast before we head out. I mix my vanilla Greek yogurt with a few tablespoons of peanut butter and a drizzle of honey. And it makes the perfect dip for some apples. So that's what I have going on. I try to make it pretty for you guys, a nice little spread. So here's a great snack idea if you're interested and if you like peanut butter. Also, Cosmic Crisp apples are the best apples in town. Don't tell me otherwise. All right, you guys, I am on my way to Zara. I have a few returns to make I have like five things in this bag so today was the last day to do it these clothes are from like weeks ago and with this like new policy where you can't return after 30 days I wanted to make sure I got it done but I'm going in there with the intention of not buying anything so wish me luck it's not because I don't want to spend money it's just because Zara's practices just don't align with my views so I'm really trying to not spend money there. So that's the goal. I'm gonna make these returns and then I'm deleting the app. I just found the most gorgeous dress. So let me show you. It's got like these ruffles and flowers going all the way down it. It's just so pretty. I might have to get it. Just figuring out which color I want. They are completely out of my cottage cheese. It's so upsetting. Alrighty guys, it is the evening time. I'm off to Balloon World, which is a like pop-up exhibit. I'm really excited to go. I'm going with my sister and her friend and her friend's sister. So it'll be the four of us, a little sister date, very cute. And I think it's going to be pretty fun. I heard there's like a ball pit and all that. So <laughs> hopefully we have a good time. Museum. So cute. Of course, my party, my entire party is late, <laughs> so I'm here all by myself. But they've got these cute little inflatable seats, so I'm nice and cozy. Even though it's outside, I'm actually pretty nice and bundled, so that's great. I guess I'm just waiting right now until the rest of the gals arrive, but let's see if I can wait inside actually.
gonna be in there. <laughs> home to my cozy humble abode that museum exhibit was so good even though it has a big price tag i do recommend it because it was very interactive it was just such a nice experience perfect for families as well and we just ate so much food we had mexican food so i had this like big bowl and we had churros at the end for a little dessert anyway let me get settled in for the night i literally have this like blazer on I don't know, and then a whole bodysuit situation. That was just a lot, but <laughs> I'm gonna get cozy and then probably get straight to bed because I'm stuffed and I'm tired. Hey guys, happy Sunday. I am just getting ready for a workout. I'm gonna try to take you guys along and see what I can film. Some days it's easier than others to record. I just try not to get in people's space. But if I can get some clips, then I absolutely will. And then I don't really have too many plans for the rest of the day. So let's just see where things take us and we'll go with the flow. such a good strength day i love starting my weekend days with a workout and then i have the rest of the day to do whatever i want i have zero plans today so i just took a shower threw on this robe because i don't know i've just been living in robes this weekend they're just so comfy easy to throw on i remembered that i wanted to tell you guys about my laser hair removal experience this week i'm not new to laser hair removal i've been doing it for my underarms and brazilian for like years but recently i went in for a consultation for the face i've been dermaplaning for as long as i can remember and it's just very high maintenance. It's a lot of upkeep. I feel like the hair grows back so fast, so I'm constantly having to do it. And sometimes I just forget to do it all together. So I was thinking about it and I was like, well, maybe I should check about laser hair removal. And you know, you have to like qualify for it because you have to be a good candidate depending on like your hair type, etc. So I went in for the consultation this week and then literally got it done the same day and i am so happy with the results i couldn't do my whole face because i have a lot of like peach fuzz and very light hair but they did do like the eyebrow area they did um above my lip and then my sideburns and i just feel like it's made all the difference i don't know if you guys will be able to tell but for me i just felt like i like my skin looks so patchy and now i just feel a million times better and with laser of course it'll last for a really long time like i only have to go in every six weeks so i did end up purchasing a six pack i went to satori laser but there's a bunch of different laser spas that you can go to in new york city but that's just who i've been going to forever and 
I really like it. I'm just so happy with the results. So yeah, I guess that's like what's new with me. <laughs> I am feeling pretty hungry and usually I would go for like a protein shake at this point, but I'm not sure what I'm feeling right now. I'm kind of craving something like savory. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, also, you guys, I rediscovered a childhood favorite of mine, the Hot Fudge Sunday Pop-Tarts. These are like none other. I've been eating like a Pop-Tart pack a day. I cannot help myself. They're just so good. If you know, you know. Let me know if you know. <laughs> okay, I decided I'm gonna make one of these chicken tamales from Trader Joe's. One of my friends put me on and I literally finished the entire package within a week. So I bought some more <laughs> and I think I'm gonna heat that up. They're so quick and easy. You can literally throw them in the microwave and they're done in like two minutes. So I'm gonna do that. You have to add hot sauce though. You can't have them plain. I just, I don't know, I like spicy things. So <laughs> I usually like drown them in hot sauce but they're really, really good. Just finished my late lunch. It was so good as always. And just the perfect thing to hold me over because I think I am gonna be cooking later. I have some meat thawed out, so I'm gonna have to use that for something, probably pasta. <laughs> so I might do like a little spaghetti bolognese or something like that. Remember that Target dress that I bought yesterday and was so excited about? Well, it didn't look that great on me, so I'm gonna have to return it at some point, whether that be today or another day. But that's an easy errand for me to run, so I'm not too worried about that. Just a little bummed that it didn't end up looking good. But honestly, I have other clothing that kind of looks similar, so I guess it's fine and whatever. I don't need to spend the money, so I'll do that. But it's looking like a relaxing Sunday, which I'm all for these days. I will probably catch up on some YouTubers that I've been missing out on um, and then do some more reading today because that's literally my obsession and call it a day. Completely forgot to show you before, but I did end up making that spaghetti. I used bonza spaghetti, so that's like made from chickpeas and it has high protein. And then I made some ground turkey to go with it with Italian seasoning, super, super good. I use this new Trader Joe's sauce called like Papardell or something like that. I've got to find it, but it was really good. And um, now I have some leftovers for tomorrow. Officially switched into my PJs for the night. I got so wrapped up in my book. I almost forgot to close off this video, but I wanted to remind you really quickly to check out Brooklyn and Sale. Their President's Day sale is going on now through the 20th. So be sure to take a peek at what they have and you can get 20% off your order. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will catch you next week with another one. See you then, bye.